G'day and welcome back to the Iron Man series. I am committed to 1000 total Nucleus runs by the end of the year, unless I drop an alloy before then. If I fail, I delete my Iron Man profile. But why would I do this? After getting my Aurora armor set to a reasonable standard, I've been feeling a bit burnt out of Skyblock and lost as what grind I should do next. For those who don't know, I'm a level 300 plus Iron Man player, and a lot of the remaining pieces of content in the game require 50 hours or more for a minor, almost unnoticeable stat boost. So, as any reasonable content creator would do, I reached out to my YouTube community with a couple of tasks and let you guys decide my fate. If you want to take part in my next poll, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on. Here were the results. An overwhelming majority wants me to suffer through a potentially infinite number of Nucleus runs in order to obtain the insanely rare Devan's Alloy. In the best of circumstances, this item has a 1 in 8,000 drop chance, and Nucleus runs take a lot of time to set up. Additionally, as of now, there is no RNG meter for Nucleus runs, meaning I could theoretically do Nucleus runs infinitely and never drop it. I recently did my first attempt at this, and here's how it went. Alright. We got some work to do today. We have some work to do. I'm kind of sick of running around with a 655. I'm kind of sick of not having that many perfect Jaspers. And I don't know. I feel motivated to run Nucleus runs for some very strange reason. So I don't know how far we'll get with the prep today. I'm hoping that we can make some decent progress. I kind of want to see if I can drop an alloy. I'm feeling lucky today. Actually, you know what? Before we, before we start, let's head to the forge. My perfect sapphires are done. How beautiful is that? We can throw them on the boots now. Slash hex. I forgot I even made these. I love that. Uh, gemstones. Perfect. Sapphire. Perfect sapphire. Nice. That's plus 20 intel, I think. Yep. Did that go on? Okay, so we have perfect sapphires on the boots, on the leggings, and on the chest plate. That makes me very happy. That makes me very happy. All right, we are going into the crystal nucleus today because we desperately, desperately need to grind a whole bunch of resource for this nucleus run. Okay, so we have five crystals to pick up. The Tobes crystal, I kind of have to do that as it happens. I can't really prepare for that. Similarly with Amber, like, aside from getting Goblin Eggs, I can't really prepare for that. I can prepare a little bit for Amethyst, but that kind of has to be done on the day. That's the Jungle Keys. I've got 30 at the moment. I don't know how many I need. I need 28 runs. Okay, so I do have enough. The two main things that we can do is we can pre-prepare our Sapphire Crystal with the Robo Parts, and we can pre-prepare the Jade Crystal. Okay, I'm pretty sure the NEU mod does this, but first I need a metal detector. I don't have one. Okay, well that's cool. Take this metal detector, beautiful. Talk to you. I don't remember if I have to like talk to all of them or just one of them. There you go. Okay, this should, this should work now. It should do like a beacon thing, right? It used to do a beacon. Oh, it does do a beacon. I'm just blind. Right, I just want to make it so I have hot bar slot full of the the items. So then I know if I've actually like got them all. But yeah, the NEU mod's actually broken how good it is now. Like look at that. It just instantly tells me where to go. Absolutely love it. So we need 28 sets of tools. That's a bit of a pain. Taking a while to get that last tool. Someone said in like a lobby, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently it's like a 28% to get a tool. Which, if that's true, that's actually really high. But I can't seem to get... There we go, Lapis Sword. Cool. Um, now the question is, which backpack am I going to use? We can start with this one. There's our first four. I guess we can clear this too. Just get rid of these. Cool, I guess we have two backpacks. That's, that's a good start. We'll fill them up and then we'll figure ourselves out. So that's our first set. We're looking for 28 of these sets. So it is going to take a while to get all this stuff. I would suggest Nucleus running before you go for Gemstone Gauntlet, personally. Like, I mean, you're already kind of committed to doing it. But, like, Nucleus runs don't actually require you to mine anything. But the good thing is you get a good base of Gemstones. 
Like every time you run a nucleus, you get one fine of every single gemstone. So you get literally like a free flawless. By the time you have full demands, you get a free flawless of everything. And that's just brilliant. Yeah, but I think that's probably like one of the hardest things with Iron Man. Like if you try and fully optimize progression, it's just really, really boring. Like my whole G drag bank concept, I need to get a billion coins before I do any combat so that I can like maximize the effect of the G drag pet. I don't want that, man. I don't want to deal with that. I don't even remember what order I did things. I'm pretty sure... Dude, I don't even remember. I'd have to go back through my clips. I don't know whether I... I'm pretty sure I did Devans before Gemstone Gauntlet. But then I feel like I got Gemstone Gauntlet with... Topaz. Bro, my progression was whack. I got a Titanium Drill before my Gemstone Gauntlet. Like, that was the dumbest thing. I got the 355... And I used that to mine. That was silly. Technically, in overall progression, Devans would be first. Because that'll give you more fortune, which will help you get the gemstone gauntlet. But, like, it's it's a pretty big sack. Actually, no, I lie. No, dude, dude, I lie. Don't go Devans first. Devans first would be very silly. I forgot that when you, like, forge Devans armor, it costs ruby. I, I completely forgot. You're definitely going for gemstone gauntlet. There's absolutely no no question to it. I forgot the recipe, man. I'm sorry. I'm throwing. Yeah, that, that was genuinely the worst advice I've ever given. I'm sorry. I love when it instantly finds it. That's brilliant. Sometimes it takes like a solid 30 seconds to find the treasure. And that's... I don't know. It just feels slow. I did an Instagram post for an acting gig that I did on Monday. Someone posted <laughs> a comment on my Instagram being like, Oh, I imagine if they knew how good your Skyblock account was. <laughs> and I was like, that's why I do it, man. That's why I do it. But I feel like Skyblock levels on a normal profile are just different. Like, I think Skyblock levels on an Iron Man profile, as you progress through Iron Man, you kind of have to do Skyblock level grinding. It's not really possible to do a lot of things without incidentally getting levels. Like, obviously, there's some things that are just Skyblock level related that you could skip. You don't really have a choice. That is two backpacks filled, which is 18 runs worth. I was thinking of going all the way to 28, but I feel like maybe we'll just do 18. Because then we might even get some runs in today. We might come back and get the remaining 10 sets after, but I reckon we go for automatons now. I feel like the automaton parts are going to be the worst thing about this. I do have sorrow boots, but like I don't have like a full set. I'll grind sorrow once I get G-Drag Bank, probably. A lot hinges on this G-Drag Bank, you might notice. Good news is there's no one else here. Don't think it's worth getting Sora after Primal Drag. I mean, if they drop Primal Drag, and if it's not seriously nuked in terms of its, like, stats, yeah. Primal Drag on Iron Man's crazy, man. What's my best area for automatons? Surely I've maxed it. Oh, dude, we'll max it today. Let's go. 53 more kills. We'll definitely max it. Heart of the Mountain progression off automatons? How did I get that? That's weird. Anyway, we maxed out our best Sierra for automatons. That's very nice. Yeah, I reckon the best advice is is that if you enjoy playing that game mode, do it. And if you don't, don't. There is some degree of you, you need money to do things. So you need to find something that does grind enough coins to get you by, but also that you enjoy. Unless you're Iron Man, then you're kind of stuck. Bro, I want to drop an Enrage of content. I really want to drop an Enrage of content. Alright, the, the, the issue part is the control switch. No, bro! I got one! In like 30 minutes! I'm gonna get rolled so hard on these robo parts. I need 28 of this thing, and it took me half an hour to get one. Dude, I'm gonna go make myself a coffee. That, that hurts. That really hurts. I was like, oh, look, I hope I get more than five. Bro. Is it faster to get automaton parts from powder grinding? I'm pretty sure it's faster with automatons. The problem with powder grinding is I literally have no value in it. Hey, We got a control switch! Let's go! Let's go! Ah, 
Do you guys have your coffee black? Or do you have like milk in it? What's everyone's like coffee order? There's gonna be some, some, some viewer who's like, I don't drink coffee. My taste buds are too refined. But for those that drink coffee, what's your, what's your like standard coffee order? Sometimes a little bit of milk or sugar. Sometimes I like to put like just a, a dash of milk in. And sugar is a rare, very, very rare occasion. Like if I'm looking for a sweet coffee, because I'm going to get alloyed today and then I'm going to punch glass for like six years. And um, then next Scorpius will we'll do all that stuff. No, I actually do want the Bizarre Reforged. Like I think I'm actually going to grind the 300 or so million coins for it. Irish coffee? Is Irish coffee the, like, where you get, like, caramel in it? What's, what's Irish coffee? Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. The Irish are alcoholics. I understand why that became a thing. Put a bit of, like, Kahlua. Tell you what I miss. They stopped making it, but Cafe Patron had, like, a really good, like, it was just really nice to shot. Like, it was like an espresso shot, but with alcohol. It's like an espresso tequila. It was great, but now they just don't make it anymore. It's sad. All right, are we ready to get depressed again and see that we only have- I know that I got at least one control switch. So the way that I look at it is it, it can't be worse than the last time that I checked, where we only got one. Do we feel like checking again or should we give it more time? All right, I'm going to check. I have no patience. It's been like- Okay, so it takes half an hour and I get one? And then I get six in like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, look, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be upset about it. Seven control switches is actually a good thing. This is going to be a slow process, but we're, we're getting there. Do I have a kill counter on my day X? Bro, I never put a kill counter on this. That is such a throw. I'm pretty sure I have one. Yeah, we have to do that. I'm, hang on. I didn't, I didn't, I literally didn't. I'm so silly. Dude, I swear I did. That's so sad. Cool. Well, now we have a book of stats on this thing. Tell you what I didn't check, though. I didn't check the rest of the parts. I just looked at control switches. So we're on... Oh, eight now. Beautiful. Wait, Zach got his garden deleted? For real? Ouch. That's rough, bro. So we got eight control switch, 39 transmitters now, 34 FTX, 27 synthetic hearts, 24 motors, and 21 reflectors. So I have literally everything I need. I need seven more reflectors in the time that it takes me to get, but really the control switch is well behind everything else. Who shot me? Cheeky dog. All right, let's have a look at our control switch. Last I checked, it was at eight. Nine. I mean, it's, it's, it's more. In that time, we've gotten five Robotron reflectors, couple of the other things. Another three transmitters, dude. I'm getting rolled. All right, bro. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to do some powder grinding for absolutely no reason. Um, what pet do I want to powder grind with? Yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm doing it. Like, because you generate chests pretty fast, but I'm pretty sure that even with like chests generated, it's still... I mean, we got a synthetic heart there, but I don't actually know what rates we were doing with the other robot parts because I wasn't really tracking them that carefully. So this is literally just because I don't want to grind automatons anymore. Also, I have a golden goblin 10 times chance, which is funny. 4k gemstone powder. Nice. Maybe I should snail pet for hardstone. That's actually probably a better call, isn't it? We're getting gold essence, we're getting diamond essence, and we're getting robo parts. So I accidentally triggered mining speed boost, so I figured I might as well grab some sapphire while it's running. Uh, also redstone if we can. Look at me doing my gold collection. Huge. Just because automatons are boring, like they only give me robo parts. Ooh, redstone, we love that. I need that to upgrade my second personal compactor. All right, we got over a stack of enchanted hardstone straight up from the compact enchant. That's beautiful. So that's one ninth of a silex, literally just because of compact. I don't know, I'm kind of just bored of automatons. I want a bit of a change. Yet to get a single control switch out of this powder grind though. I'm pretty convinced that powder grinding is not the way to go. If you're just looking for uh, robo parts, my rates are tragic. Oh, let's go! Control switch and a transmitter in the same chest. I take it back. I take it back. This is good. 
Wait, if I'm using snail pet, should I... Oh gosh, I'm throwing. I forgot to get my speed. My mistake. My mistake. How much do I get off tunings? 163.5. So what's my speed buff now with the snail? 244. See the pro... Oh, I guess ranch's boots. I, I should put ranch's boots on. Lose my Devon boots, but we'll go for ranches because that gives more mining fortune for hardstone. See, the thing is with nucleus runs, right? You're gonna have to do them eventually, so you might as well learn how to do them. Implodent did a video that's technically outdated a little bit now, but most of what Implodent's videos said is the cheese for the nucleus runs. But basically, in short, you have five crystals. The ones that you can prepare for are the sapphire crystal, which is literally just giving in six robo parts. Um, so as long as you have those items, you're good. So that's what I'm working on right now myself. And then the second one you can prepare is the Jade Crystal, which involves getting tools from the Mines of Devon, which is what I was doing earlier in the stream. And what you do is you do kind of the metal detector quests in the Mines of Devon, which is in the Mithril Deposits. And every time you get a full set of tools, you just put them in a backpack. Sorry, give me a sec. Like I have here. So this is two backpacks, so 18 sets of tools. Because you get four four tools per run. Um, and then you literally just deliver them when you're doing the run. With the uh, Amethyst Crystal, you do like some kind of cheese, which is hard to explain without showing you. But you basically do a cheese where you go underneath the jungle temple. And then with an Armadillo pet, you can cheese yourself into the final room and just yoink the crystal. It's pretty chill. Okay, let's do a check. Control switch. We're sitting at 15. 15 is... It's a good start. It's not amazing. Oh, big stretch. Sorry, that sucked. That was just such a long grind. 40 Robotron Reflectors. 37 Superlight Motor. 40 Synthetic Heart. 53 Transmitters. Um, and 46 FTX. It's like more than every single one of them is double the control switch. Like I'm okay with having more synthetic hearts because I actually do need those if I do want to get the the max uh, fuel tank. But come on, bro. Come on. That's that's rough. So the question is, do I want to just do 15 runs and then save the 13 for later? Do I want to do 15 runs now? RG sucks sometimes. It actually sucks. All right, we're going to check if this lobby's good. All right, where is the jungle temple? Okay, it reckons we got the jungle temple down here. Okay, so that's the jungle temple. So that brings us into Mines of Devan. We're literally just running through here and we get right in. Awesome, so Precursor City, City to Mines of Devan is actually really chill. Uh, does anyone know what the, the addition to like the, the cohorts is? Because I forgot. Thank you, Taco. All right, 531. X is plus 61, Y is minus 44, Z is plus 18. Okay. All right. I need to cobble this area. Might even do this. Mine a bit more of the area so I can get more of a platform. And we can actually test it. This is probably like way too big of a platform. It doesn't have to be this big, but I don't know. I just get annoyed when it doesn't work the way that it should. All right. Armadillo. Wait. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. That was me being bad. It went right through. Did I get my calculations wrong? Alright, there we go. Then from here, I was going to go to... Mines of Devon, I think. Say hi. I reckon we do the, the parkour legitimately first run and just see how it goes. I'm just making sure that I got the right codes. So I'll do it legitimately for first run. And then if I've got the codes right, then we'll try harder. But I didn't want to like just spend ages trying to get it if I had the wrong codes. Like that's where I think the crystal is, which seems to be right. Yeah. Oh, I am off a little bit actually. That's probably it. That's where I put my guess wait wrong side all right first run sapphire 
Jade. Topaz, Amethyst, Amber. Can we get an Alloy first run? No, I can't. But I can get a Helix and Diamond Essence. Bombs is decent. Helix, two Helixes. Please, please no. And then we're good over here. Oh, someone else is using their Dillo. Nice. Okay, so this is the actual one over here. This is where I need to be. All right, let's equip the Dillo again. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That was easy. That was so easy. Uh, what do we got next? Bal? 100% location problem. All right, cool. Easy. Good run. And that's it. Can we get an alloy? No, but I can get treasureite and bob -ombs. Oh, wait. Bro, that is rare. That is incredibly rare. Precious Pearl. Those are so difficult to get on Iron Man. That's my second one. But that is... That's actually insane. That's actually insane. I don't care about it. Like, it's not a good item. It doesn't do anything for me, but it is very rare. Very, very rare. Alright, let's go. I think there's a fortune book in that. And a gemstone mixture. That's decent. I mean, I don't really need a fortune book anymore. But it's nice. Oh, bruh. Gemstone mixture, Jaderold, and fortune book in that. That's actually, that's decent. That's a decent run. Jaderold, I, I think I need that on my last piece of minerals. So I guess that's useful. Uh, gemstone mixture is just always nice to have. But aside from that, nothing, nothing crazy in that run. I'm pretty sure that run would have been profit on a normal profile. All right, Amber, Amethyst, Topaz, Jade. What's this, run number four or five? Jade, Sapphire. Nothing really of value. The potion's kind of cool, I think. It's kind of special. Recall potion. I guess it's rare, but like I don't think I'll ever use it. All right, here we go. Alloy drop. Let's do it. 2,000, nearly 2,500 hours without an alloy and all that's about to change right now because we just dropped it. That is such a bad roll. All right, I missed Jade. All right, number six of the day. Literally trash. There's, there is nothing there of value, really. What do we get? Two prehistoric eggs. That's great. That's great. And a, and a pick on Nimbus. Feeling good. Uh, I missed this. Okay, what do we get? Not even a crystal. I can't believe we haven't even dropped, like, a crystal or, like, like, Jasper or Ruby. It's been... It's been eight runs. I don't know what the odds are, but I feel like eight runs without one's a bit rough. All right, run number nine of today. What do we got? First Devon Fragment. I was wondering when that was going to come through as well. Did I get a Skybook level up? I did. GG's. We got a second Gemstone Mixture as well. We'll take that. Let's go. Surely Alloy Drop. Surely Alloy Drop. We got a Jasper Crystal. That's a win. Jasper Crystal's really good, but no Alloy, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five. Throw that in the forge. Bro is a gambling man. You can only lose though. It's a terrible gamble. Two Devon fragments. That's kind of useless. Nice. I saw like the green coming through on the Devon fragment. And I was like, that doesn't look like a Devon fragment. That looks like a bit of gold with something special to it. But no. No, it was, it was not to be. Two more runs today, team. Two more runs. All right, Siege, pay attention. You go here, you hold forward, and then you jump, and then you literally just get in. It's, it's brilliant. It's beautiful. Terra stacks, and then we absolutely annihilate this thing. Look at the amount of arrows that we're chomping on that. That is rough, bro. 
You're getting absolutely demolished. Grind a second Greg if I drop an alloy. Alright, how about this? If I drop an alloy, I have to grind my one bill bank. I have to get G-Drag bank. How about that? I think that's fair. I'm not allowed to do anything else other than money grinding. That seems fair. There'd be no point getting an alloy and then just... Oh! Two Jasper crystals. Dude, dude, dude. This is, uh, rough. Um, I need to collect, like, one of them. Okay. And then I need to put in the forge before it auto-collects. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. We got our two Jasper crystals. That's brilliant. That's actually brilliant. I'm so happy with that. I am so happy with that. That is, that is a win. That is a big win. Two Jasper Crystals. I'm actually stoked. That is huge. That is actually huge. I am very happy with that. Bro, we have three. Three perfect Jaspers from today. That's so many. Nice. We still have one run to go, though. All right. Final run of the day. Taking guesses. What do we reckon we'll get? Four Pico Nemesis. Three Pico Nemesis. Two prehistoric eggs. Bombs. Bombs are good. Bombs are good. Alright, so no one guessed a fortune book, no one guessed a gemstone mixture. Every RNG drop except alloy. Drop a bingo nimbus, yeah. Alright, final run of the day. No way. Another jasper crystal, do I even have enough? Let's go, man. Let's go, that's actually gold. Bro, that's genuinely crazy good. I'm stoked. Bro, four Jasper Crystals today. That's mental. If Fred will ever actually uh, accept my call. Dude. That's insane. That's, that's mad profit if we run a normal profile. That's great. That's great. Look, good stream. Really good stream overall. Yeah, we kind of got rolled with not getting that many control switches, but we actually did make really good progress on the profile. So I'm really, really happy. Thank you everyone for jumping on. Bro, I'm going to get a Claymore like 10, 10 runs in. Watch me. Watch me. It's going to happen. Thank you everyone for jumping on. And I will see you guys next stream. Despite getting some pretty decent RNG in the Jasper department, an alloy is an alloy. And without one, I'll be back doing more runs soon. If you're still watching, I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like and comment how you like your coffee. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next one.